Yo, hey, what's up, guys? So this weekend, I went to an antique superstore called Brass Armadillo here in Phoenix, Arizona, of course. Now, to some of you that don't know or have never heard of Brass Armadillo, like I said, it's an antique superstore that specializes mainly in antique furniture, but they do house some antique or at least vintage figures and uh, collectibles like comic books, for an example. Now, in these videos, I didn't take any any shots at all of antique furniture only because I'm not really into that. And we all know what I'm into, and it's pretty much this what you see here in front of you. Um, these were really cool, guys. These were old 60s, 70s kind of memorabilia or toys of uh, name brand characters. And, of course, Spock lives only for, you know, to pay respect to, you know, uh, for him passing away just recently. But anyways, back to this. Um... There, they had a lot of cool stuff. This, more specifically, was this McDonald's play set that I was actually considering buying. But with a $200 price tag, um, it kind of just left me uh, kind of worried because I wasn't too quite sure if it was 100% complete. Also, with this Pee Wee's Playhouse for $69, I almost pulled the gun also because he actually had the box for it. And when I looked this up, it said I believe it was 100% complete, but I wasn't too quite sure. They also had a lot of Star Wars stuff here, but in this specific seller, uh, he had him a little bit overpriced, and all of the figures seemed to have no weapons. So I, I didn't buy any of those. But as you can tell, they have a lot of a lot of collectibles there at the Brass Armadillo. Now I usually go here. I, I would say at least maybe once or twice a month because things change. Uh, a lot and pretty much what you're seeing here are just cases huge cases that are rented out to private sellers so for example with me I would pay a monthly fee and I'll be able to pretty much sell antiques or collectibles for example this one right here had a bunch of vintage soda bottles and I'm a big collector of those and I'll show you my collection a little bit later um, as you can tell, they had really creepy dolls. These are really old, I believe, from the 50s and 60s. Uh, a lot of train sets, a lot of, you know, tractors, you know, John Deere stuff they had. Stuff that I'm not really interested in, but I know a lot of you may be. But one thing I did want to do was I wanted to take a video of the whole entire store. But when I went on Saturday, it was packed. There were a ton of people there. I don't know if it was just a special event, but normally when I go, I don't usually go on the weekends usually in the weekdays. This piranha, kind of a petrified, you know, dried up piranha, was really cool, but at a $75 price tag, a little bit much. That old 1950s metal car was really cool. Um, I almost bought that, but I kind of had interest in other things. They had a lot of signs, too. Remind me of uh, that one TV show, American Pickers, uh, where those two guys go around picking up signs and stuff. They had a lot of, like, gas station old like uh, merchandise signs. A lot of dolls, a lot of Disney stuff. Uh, I know they had a lot of little pet shops. My daughter loves those. She collects those. So she would love this when she comes back to Arizona. Uh, those Maleficent dolls were pretty cool. Also I noticed they had a lot of Power Ranger stuff. Now I know those are more to uh, uh, early to mid 90's so I didn't really buy those. Uh, they had a lot of video games, a lot of Nintendo, Nintendo DS games, some Sony PlayStation 1 games, but not a whole lot. A lot of DVDs. Those turds were pretty cool. I almost bought that uh, Casey Jones, but it was pretty beat up. Comic books, more modern instead of vintage. However, in a few moments here, you'll see some vintage comic books. Uh, they had one, one person was had nothing but Harley Quinn comic books and mer merchandise, which was pretty cool. I didn't do any video of that, only because... Uh, um, I don't know why. <laughs> but as you can tell, here's some of the vintage comic books. Uh, they had, a, of course, the, the Sheena number one. I believe they had a, a Spider-Woman number one also in here. And they had another really cool one that I almost bought, which is an Alice Cooper, which you'll see, uh, right? Nope, it's going to be down. But anyways, they had an Alice Cooper number one, but at a $20 price tag, that's a bit high, especially uh, maybe if it was m near mint to mint, but it looked to be possibly like in fine condition. It was a little bit high priced. But that's probably something to expect. A lot of things I noticed were a little bit higher than normal only because I'm assuming they probably charge a lot for the monthly fees. I don't know how much but 
Uh, I'll probably find out and ask because it will be pretty cool because the amount of traffic that was there, a lot of people were looking through these cases. Um, as you can tell, a lot of CGC stuff. Uh, again, more vintage stuff. A lot of Ghostbusters, which I liked, but really weren't in the condition that I actually buy them in. Uh, that one uh, Thundercats figure right there was way overpriced. 35 bucks for that. That was a bit high. Uh, let's see. A lot of Star Wars stuff, too. A lot of the, the Episode 1 uh, stuff, and we all know Star Wars Episode 1 kind of is there. Oh, and check this picture, this poster. This poster was actually out to the public, and I thought it was pretty cool, but I was like, well, kids always pass by, and I don't know if that was appropriate enough, but anyways, there was this one case I had a bunch of lunch boxes, as you can tell. A lot of G that G.I. Joe one was really cool. $99 price tag, but of course I was told that it was uh, discounted, and uh, they didn't tell me how much. I would have to go up front, so I didn't really ask. Uh, as you could tell, a lot of, and these are the vintage, these are the original ones, nothing really reissue or remake lunchboxes. They had a really cool, right there, Planet of the Apes one, and then lower, a little bit lower you'll see here is a really cool Star Wars vintage one, which I almost bought. But again, these are, and they also include the thermoses too. So, uh, um, uh, if uh, any of you are here in Arizona or into lunchboxes, this is a place to go. A lot of people were gathering around and talking about those Mickey Mouse figures. I don't know why. Again, I'm not a really a collector of those Disney uh, Mickey Mouse figures. But, oh, there's those Mrs. and Mr. Pac-Man. I have those. And uh, right there to the left, you see like a Star Wars picture. Apparently, that was a, um, a movie guide or something that came out, I was told, when the movie was released, the original one in 1977. That also was... I guess, given out to the general public. More lunchboxes. Oh, there's that Star Wars one, Dukes of Hazard, Superman, uh, that Space Odyssey 1999 one. That was pretty cool. The Gremlins one. So they had a lot of cool stuff here, guys. Now, one thing I did notice was, uh, like I said, these cases, there was a ton, ton of cases, guys. And unfortunately, I didn't really have a chance to do a whole walk around with the camera. Maybe I'll go back during the week when there's less people, only because... Uh, I don't know. I, I, I hate crowds. I really do. So uh, the only things that I actually picked up during my visit to the Brass Armadillo were three, as you can tell here, they were three uh, vintage Coke bottles, a Sprite, a Pepsi, and uh, some off-brand. I'm sorry. I, I'm actually doing this audio without looking at them. So these are the things that I, three things I picked up. I believe they were $5 and $7 each, and I have a vast array of them that I collect. Why? I just like them. I don't know. I like soda, and so I, I like to have these vintage stuff. So that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Expect another video out here shortly of part two of pretty much how I collect stuff and what I picked up. So uh, kind of going on with, or at least continuing from my previous video. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. Peace.